Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for Friday, the 22nd of April, 2022. Today was a pretty good streaming day. After yesterday, where everything was kind of weird because we had a return of Ask the King and a Game Pass night that people were voting on till the last minute, today was a nice set day of gameplay. And, let's be quite frank, it wasn't a chill day at all. It was definitely a day where there was a lot of uh, attention needed for the games, you know what I'm saying? Elden Ring on the first stream... Uh, we made some progress. What we did is we explored all the consecrated snow fields, including doing all the optional boss fights, even cleared out the town to the north, which basically gets you to the Halley Tree. Then I went southeast, and I explored a lot of the land of the, the uh, dead giants. I didn't finish exploring it yet because we were running out of time. So the very tail end of the stream, I actually ended up going to that uh, Madness Tower from much earlier in the game. Right at the, the lift of Dectus, was it called? I basically run into it earlier in the game and never went back to see what it was. And apparently I missed out an entire area because not only did I clear out that tower, but I found a whole madness town, which is kind of neat. Um, and that's kind of where we left off. Next time around when I continue, uh, I will likely keep exploring. I think there's actually a church and other stuff there. Then go back to the land of the dead giants and continue there and see where that leads me. So, from what people have been telling me, all right, Halley Tree will likely take two streams. It's lengthy. It's very challenging, supposedly. Um, likely, the rest of the Land of the Giants and then leading me on to wherever the name of this last place is, I don't know yet. Uh, likely will be at least another stream. People who know the game uh, probably are saying probably four streams to beat it. Maybe. Maybe maybe three, maybe four. So, the next Elden Ring stream is coming up on Monday. We'll see how it goes and go from there. But yeah, we are getting to the nitty-gritty end challenging stuff. Okay? The night stream tonight was the Street Fighter... Uh, anniversary collection in Friday Night Fights. Played it on Xbox again this week because last week we had a lot of success playing on Xbox, while the week before was a huge disaster with all kinds of crashing and trolling and all kinds of bullshit on the PlayStation. So it went better than PlayStation for sure. It definitely didn't go as good as it was last week. Last week went a little better because last week we were able to get into a lobby and play consistently for most of the night. This week, not so much. We did have some lobbies. We had a troll who was trying to troll, but I was able to block him a few times. It didn't really affect anything. Um, but the lobby, I didn't really get to stay in the lobby all night, but we ended up doing some ranked matches that worked out, actually. We ended up playing Hyper Fighting, one or two Super Turbo, one or two Alpha 3, and quite a few Third Strike ranked matches. Um... Some pretty good matches, too. I actually played a Necro player that knew what they were doing. It was a little unfortunate because I couldn't really play at my highest capacity online. Necro has some moves that are not easily uh, punishable online, but offline they're easily beatable, and it kind of sucks that he was getting away with the same stuff over and over. But let me make a long story short, some close matches, some good matches. It was a good stream. Support was quite good. Uh, did we max out everything? Of course not. But good amount, a uh, mix of, you know, super chats and a good, a good level of tips. So, no complaints there. It was basically a solid night, okay? So, just so everyone knows, two months left until the release of the Capcom Fighting Collection. When it comes out in June, that is likely going to completely take over for the 30th Anniversary Collection. Instead, we're going to be playing Darkstalkers and Hyper Street Fighter 2 Anniversary Edition every week. Um, that will be good for variety's sake, I'm sure. Of course, there's going to be other games in that collection at launch, too, that I'll check out. I don't think they're going to be very competitive online, but we'll see what happens with those, Okay. Now, tomorrow is the big day that everyone's been waiting for. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow I'm doing something completely different, outside of my comfort zone and something I never usually do. I'm doing a react stream. I'm reacting to the Down the Rabbit Hole uh, video about Wings of Redemption. I wonder if I still have the picture here. Uh, I might. What the fuck does that say? King Kong? That's definitely not it. I guess, I guess I don't have it anymore, which is weird. I don't remember deleting the picture, but uh, I see the leaderboard. Yeah, I wanted to show it. That's not it. Oh, that is it. What the hell did I call? Oh, I called it just Rabbit Hole. That's why I couldn't find it. Uh, so yeah, the Down the Rabbit Hole Wings of Redemption video. This is what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm watching this and reacting to it on my first stream. Uh, again, something that I'm not used to doing. Usually I do gameplay or vlogging, and this is very different. Uh, but everyone seems to like this kind of content. This is going to answer a lot of questions about the guy because people talk about him constantly on my streams. I don't understand it. Now I'm finally going to understand it, I guess, after this, this uh, video. All right? Now it's two hours long. However, the fact that I take breaks and I'm going to be stopping to react and talk about it, I don't know if I'm going to finish it in my three-hour stream. We may have to do a second session. This is an experiment for me. Obviously, we're going to have a new audience here on the stream that normally wouldn't be here. 
Uh, my mods are aware of it. They're going to try to help out with that, and hopefully we can keep everything under control. <clears throat> if this goes well, if it ends up being entertaining, fun, different, interesting, I'll consider doing it again in the future with other stuff. If not, if it ends up being a dud or a huge fucking failure or just a pain in the ass, then I won't do it ever again. Just something different to do tomorrow, okay? In fact, once I stop recording this, I'm immediately going to get this set up here and get it working with the YouTube app on the Xbox to get everything in line and working for tomorrow so we're good to go in the morning, all right? So, this will be the whole major stream tomorrow. If you're not interested in this, then don't stop by after you can stick around for the pre-stream podcast, but after that, this is what we're doing, okay? Tomorrow night, we will do gameplay. Tomorrow night, it will be Skyrim After Hours, um, and we'll be doing the uh, Companions quest line if we finish it. Likely, I'm going to finally do the Daedric quest I've been trying to do for a million years. I needed a Daedra Heart to do it, and now I'll have it. And then we'll go on from there, likely starting up one of the two DLCs in the game. Uh, and and uh, it should be fun, okay? So, tomorrow, I hope to see you. If you would like to see something different, please stop by. Uh, it should be a good time, I hope. And uh, that's that. So, everyone, please have a good evening. And I'll see you in the AM, all right? Thanks, and peace out.